If the hinges on your gate are rusted, seized or just plain ugly, don't worry, they're pretty easy to change and I'll show you how you can do it yourself. So what we got here is a classic example of where this particular hinge is just too small for this size gate. We've got quite a heavy gate here, the whole thing has fallen forward, not only that, it's got rusted and it's seized. So I'm going to replace it with a nice new one. So one of the first things I want to do before I start taking that hinge off is I want to put a packer underneath the gate, under this front edge, and just support it. So I'm not going to take the whole gate off in one, I'm just going to take one hinge off at a time. So let's just put a little wedge underneath there to support the gate while we unscrew that hinge. Now just before we put that hinge on, I'm just going to give that a prime underneath there, that's bare timber. So we'll just give that a tickle up with a little bit of oil based primer. Right, yeah, we'll just let that dry and then put on our hinge. Now the reason I have chosen a bigger hinge is because this is going to support the gate, give it a lot more strength. Now also another good reason for choosing a bigger hinge, the holes where the screws go in are going to be in a different location as to where the other ones were. But if you were replacing a hinge with exactly the same size and the screws are going to the same location, what you might find is that the holes might be flogged out, so you could actually stuff those holes with a couple of fillets of timber and that'll give your new screws a bit of grip. Let's just get that hinge sitting nice and level and the centre of our gate rail and we're going to attach it to our fence post first. Just make sure that's sitting nice and level, that's looking good. Now we just want to take our wedge and push our wedge under so that gate comes up nice and level. Now let's just make sure that our pickets are parallel with our gate post. So I've got 25mm there, and that's 25 at the bottom. Okay, all we have to do is put our screws in our top hinge. Righty, eight. now just repeat the same for the bottom. Job done. With a set of new hinges, you've got a gate that opens and shuts like it's meant to.